the second season starts from where we left the first season then then we also have uh, gulshan ji and mayin all joining in making the story even more interesting more exciting and more thrilling the character wants to save his son will do anything to change this world to save his son and with my character gurjot pannu you know coming into the series that is going to be very very difficult in fact almost impossible But you know, I read somewhere when Nawazuddin Siddiqui sir was saying, audience are very content conscious right now. Only extraordinary content will motivate audience to walk to cinemas, right? What are your thoughts on that? He's absolutely wrong. Uh, you know, like, and or his definition of extraordinary content is wrong, or his thinking of what is content is wrong. Surya Vanshi is an example. If there's any doubt, to Nawazuddin or any other actor, send them my video outside the theater. So hello and welcome to E Times. Hello, Jimmy sir. Hello, Gulshan sir. I'm very excited to talk to you guys today. Same here. Same here. Hi. Hi. All right. So we're going to talk about your new web series that's come on the uh, Sony Live. It's called Your Honor. Now, so the series was, you know, uh, received an applaud for uh, by the audience for storytelling and design of the character previously. What are we going to expect in this particular season? Can I know from you guys to start with? So basically, the first season. Uh, has already been out and um, it's been loved by people the idea was to take the story forward and uh, um, the second season starts from where we left the first season maybe one or two weeks uh, ahead and uh, that's what happens and then we also have uh, gulshan ji and mayin all joining in yeah. and uh, making the story even more interesting more exciting and more thrilling for uh, everyone who enjoyed the first season we did sir how about you gulshan sir well i like to add just that uh, with my joining in your honor season 2 jimmy said it makes the story more interesting more thrilling uh it also makes things difficult for uh vision kosla Mm -hmm. uh the character played by jimmy uh you know the character wants to save his son will do anything to change this world to save his son mm -hmm. and with my character gurjot pannu you know coming into the series that is going to be very very difficult in fact almost impossible uh -huh. so uh this series is going to be this season is going to be uh more thrilling mm -hmm. more interesting to watch because it's not going to be easy for him it's not going to be easy at all uh -huh. i'll also like to add to this that uh, you know like this this emotion of uh, uh, saving a loved one is, is 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 we are all very familiar with this emotion we all we all go through this emotion you know each day mm -hmm. uh, not really each day in, at moments many times in life and this particular emotion uh, being portrayed by Bishan Kosla uh, in this series is going to amplify because things are not going to be easy at all things are going to be in a very very interesting writing interesting presentation interesting acting it's going to be messy difficult dangerous crazy yeah. I can see that in the trailer, sir. Your your character Gujarat Pannu is trying to make make uh, your honor's life difficult, right? But I want to know from you as well, Jimmy. What is going to be the journey of the judge in this particular one? Like like I uh, said, that uh, the problems are going to get amplified, and uh, where he was trying to save his son earlier on, it's going to be even more difficult. Like Gulshan Ji is saying in this one to to make things right and. Uh, So it's much better. It's just got another couple of days to go. So we would much rather wait and uh, let everyone watch it for themselves and see how exciting and thrilling the second season is. That's fair enough. So you both have shared the screen space earlier as well. Tom, Dick, and Harry uh, 
also in Bullet Raja and few other movies as well. Uh, tell me, getting back together on the set, did it bring back the old memories? How the equation is right now compared to that? <laughs> then how is the equation right now? Can you tell us that? You know, I have a lot of admiration for this young, uh, dear friend of mine, brother of mine, Jimmy Shergill. Uh, you know, he 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 does diverse work. He does very good work, and he does work at his pace. And 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 uh, also, his style of working is uh, quite different from my style of working. He's, you know, like uh, his he, how much he has prepared doesn't show in the sense that he comes very calm on the set. You know, he's 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 already done his work. Somebody like me uh, is 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 you know like still working, still uh, grouping things, still getting into you know various elements of the character. And uh, no, so sir, I guess you're very, doing what is right now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's 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 very admirable uh, his his style of working, and I uh, we we both uh, have a very very enjoyable, entertaining, humorous time on the sets. We are, uh, you know, we 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 are uh, we were remembering. You know, Jimmy will remember some great incidents and anecdotes <laughs> of on the set and how uh, we laughed and enjoyed and made our director, uh, you know, Inivas also, <laughs> and the crew and the unit and the younger guys and everybody. <laughs> uh-huh. I want to know from you as well. Uh, tell us something about that. What's Gulshit sir saying? So basically, I have done about seven, eight. Uh, projects with uh, Gulshan ji and we've always had a great time but I think this time it was uh, much more fun even though uh, there were protocols and there was COVID there was everything but I I, I definitely do give Gulshan ji all the credit of keeping uh, us uh, definitely me entertained thoroughly because uh, Gulshan ji always has had this flair of, uh, you know, kind of, uh, um, you know, he has his favorites in the direction team and then in the costume and then in the sound department and everywhere. So from the art, uh, this thing. And then he's, then he's like, though he's, his whole day just goes with those best friends. Like, you know, just laughing and <laughs> um, cracking joke, <laughs> and that is very, very entertaining. It's amazing. Suddenly, out of nowhere, when the shot is over, hey, where's my friend? And so and so, <laughs> so poor guy might be might be two kilometers away looking for some, uh, um, uh, you know, some uh, kind of a candle or something like that for for the shot. But but he wants him back, and then the guy has to come back, and then you know that whole thing. And by the time he's um, found his other good friend uh, from the. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I guess it is I amazing. Fun, I think so. Yeah. That's yeah. Nice. yeah. Again, I want to know from both of you right now. You know, uh, sir, you have done so much of work, and you've seen the cinema grow from the time back then till date with OTD booming right now, and all the diverse content coming on it, and people are consuming content like never before <laughs> right now. So I want to know from you both, like what liberty does a OTT platform gives you as an actor in terms of the content, in terms of the power, uh, what liberty gives it gives you as an actor in total? This is my first experience of OTT in my first series, first time. So in that regard, Jimmy is a veteran. He has done more series than me. In fact, uh, uh, you know, there were times uh, that I reached out to Jimmy on the set and said, is this the right way to perform in an OTT, is this the right way to do things? And he, he was, uh, you know, always, you know, giving his opinion and helping in that because he has done work on OTT and this was my first, very first experience. And uh, I, I would say that it'll take me a little while uh, to uh, sort of form an opinion about OTT. All I can say is that I'm enjoying this wonderful moment that in, on one side, my film, India's biggest film, Suryavanshi, is running in the theaters, being appreciated, doing tremendous business. My character, Kadar Usmani, is being loved. Akshay is loved. Everybody's loved. Siti, Tali, all that is going on. And in that very week, it is my entry into OTT with a series whose basic theme I love, a father's struggle to save his son. 
I mean, like, it's an emotion that we are all familiar with. It, it can be anybody, any person's struggle to lay, save his or her loved one. It can be a brother, it can be a sister, it can be, uh, you know, like a, a mother's love for a child. You know, that experience, that emotion, we're all, you know, sort of familiar with. And therefore, uh, you know, like to be entering the arena of OTT in an emotional thrilling, enjoyable, performances driven with such wonderful actors, great director, great production house, great OTT uh, platform studio. This is fantastic experience. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. On one side, the theater. On, one, on the other side, OTT. And then I have multiple films releasing. I have another film of mine called Cash releasing, you know. And uh, many of the films are just about to release. All right. Jimmy, I want to know from you as well. You've done a lot of work on OTT, like Sir said as well. I want to know as an actor, what Liberty does such a fear, fearless platform gives you? Like, uh, can you give us an insight in that? I don't know yet. I've, I've shot whatever I've shot with people who have been making films and on the same format that, format that films are made on with actors who have been acting in films. So for me, I don't think I experienced anything except for the 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 lengthier storyline because uh, normally a script is about um, 100 pages uh, and uh, for these series uh, for one particular season could go up to 500 600 pages uh, as well so so that's the duration which is which is uh, a little bit of a difference that i find in in both uh, formats but otherwise i think it's it's been it's been the same and all right. The approach is also the same for an actor and whatever. Yeah. But yeah, but it's been fun. They're coming up with some really nice stories, nice concepts, nice uh, stuff, you know, and uh, it's very exciting for uh, actors. Yeah. All right. So a lot of time actors are asked about their process, you know. I believe actors' process is really personal to them. And you guys have been in the industry for so long. When does an act actor actually try to explain his process or... Does he ever give it away or he just keeps it to himself? And uh, how, how does it go? Do you guys actually reveal your process of acting? Uh, yes, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I have been not only, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, sharing it with my colleagues when they want to know. I mean, I, I've been an acting teacher at uh, first. I was a student at Prof Professor Roshan Saab's acting school and uh, uh, did my acting training there. Uh, along with my colleague, my classmate was batchmate was Anil Kapoor, and then I was an acting teacher uh, in the same school for about eight nine years. Sanjay Dutt was my student; he was a student there. Uh, Kumar Gaurav, Sunny Deol, uh, Tina Munim, so many of them. Govind, Govinda, and uh, the process generally is driven from what one has learned from there, but it's evolved changed, adapted with each new experience, you know, with each new film, with each year, with each passing of time, you know. So therefore, it's constantly, constantly getting changed. And uh, uh, one is always delighted to share it with uh, uh, anyone who wants to know. But, uh, you know, like experienced actors have their own method, their own way of working on a character, handling the shooting stress, handling the changes, handling, you know, like uh, some sort of co-star, which is not in tune, you know, some sort of uh, co-star that has a very, very different way of, for example, I worked with an actor who very loudly would say his lines and keep walking around, would loudly say, it distracts everybody else. It's only he, he's saying his lines. <laughs> it, was, it was like a, it was, it was a nuisance, you know. And after some time, I wanted to say, he was from NSD, you know, National School of Drama. So he was learning them for like a drama lines, you know. And uh, <laughs> that was his method, you know. That was his way of, uh, you know, like dealing with it. But I think uh, each actor has a different way. And uh, many times when you <laughs> find an interesting way of another colleague then you adapt it or you sort of improve or you sort of add to your own style. That's what I would like to say. 
Jimmy, you have you ever shared your real process with anyone? See, I'll uh, I'll tell you what I have. Uh, whenever somebody asks me, and uh, and it normally happens on sets when you're shooting with uh, youngsters and everything like that. So they want to know your particular, uh, you know, how you uh, approach characters and everything like that. So I do I do speak with them uh, openly. But the thing is that I I feel that I'm still trying to. discover a particular style because till now it's mostly been you know some characters you approach like this some other characters you try and approach in a very different way so uh, once i do have one particular style the look if i this is uh, what i have discovered and this is how it is till then i think it's it's always um, uh, nice to just share your experiences and and you know give the reference of those particular characters as to how uh, they they uh, came up and how you tried to approach them and how they finally ended up being so i was asking sir cinemas have finally opened up and everyone's really excited about and sir's film is already doing so well on the cinema but you know i read somewhere when nawazuddin siddiqui sir was saying uh like uh, audience are very content conscious right now only extraordinary content will motivate audience to walk to cinemas right what are your thoughts on that is absolutely wrong uh you know like and or his definition of extraordinary content is wrong or his thinking of what is content is wrong uh if suryavanshi is an example to go by suryavanshi in the loose sense the commercial film entertaining film star driven film lots of stars every entry is a dhamal every dialogue is a city my entry is a city when i my confrontation with akshay kumar is a city so it's a different kind of experience and it is proven it is proving now that in this time the film is collecting and film will continue to collect such huge amounts i went to the cinema Uh, to watch the film, and it was impossible to enter the cinema. My fans gathered everywhere. My car was surrounded, and the video is there on Times of India. Yes, 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 yes. We saw that. Yeah, it's and viral. Yeah, ha- <laughs> it was have viral. Have a look at the video, and and uh, I mean, and thank you to E Times, which wrote, "Whenever yeah. there is such huge crowd, as good as a hero, the villain has to. The villain is Gulshan Grover." I sent that video to my dear friend and brother Akshay Kumar. Mm-hmm. uh it was a friday the very first day you know just look at the love and adulation for the film for akshay kumar for me for the other actors they are here they are not letting me go inside the cinema i'm climbing on top of my car and waving out to them so they came to watch an entertaining film if that is what he says is content yes if he says if he means nawazuddin means by content uh a little off by upbeat some other kind of driven story i don't think so that is how it is in the cinema scenario all right fair enough in the larger scenario fair. ott is a different uh, game all together i mean my friend sunil shetty's son's film tarap is releasing yeah I mean, look! Look at the uh, you know response to the trailer, response to the little teaser, music, and everything. So people are people judge the film by these little things. You know, they don't they they not really had a chance to know the whole story or what sort of uh, whole content it is. So therefore, I disagree with Nawazuddin. I agree. And uh, Surya Vanshi is an example. If there's any doubt. to nawazuddin or any other actor send them my video outside the theater <laughs> will do sir will do jimmy what's your right. thought what's your thought uh, how do you how do you see it no i think it's it's a great thing that uh, cinemas have opened up right now because the big screen is the big screen it's the ultimate and uska ek alag maza hota hai and there are people who are very um, hardcore film going people they like that outing for them it's it's an outing Whereas an OTT is is um, at home, you're just sitting. You have uh, a little time while you're driving from your house to uh, your office, where the driver is driving. You're sitting at the back of the car. You have nothing to do. You just start watching your uh, 
half an hour you finish one episode or something like that go to your office and have fun so that's that's the difference but the big screen will always be the big screen all right i get it okay this is my last question and i like let you guys go sir uh, as we all know we all love cinema you love cinema we all love cinema all right and i've seen you guys i've seen you guys growing like it's just a fan moment for me i just want to ask do you think cinema has a power to change the society or is just a mere reflection of the society how do you guys see it what's the power of cinema according to you guys well i think uh, from the kind of cinema that i come from cinema is to entertain you know it's an it's, it's a form of entertainment we are called the entertainment world we are not preachers we are not life changers we are not uh, you know like activists you know we are just entertainers and in that sometimes you know the theme of certain films or certain stories or certain performances do motivate people uh, for for certain wonderful things you know but primarily we be into entertainment tax we are called entertainment industry so broadly that is the meaning to me i don't know anymore even i feel the same i think i think uh, sabse pehle we are uh, supposed to be entertainers we are supposed to entertain and uh, the when we are making something on a particular particular issue then it should be said very clearly which is obviously said when we make films says is that these views are of the writer or the director they do not necessarily mean that they are the views of the people who are this thing so you might watch something uh, which in um, olden days used to be called documentaries right. you know what i mean today we pick up those documentary kind of issues and turn them into a uh, one and a half hours or two hours of films because we feel that they are worth uh, being made into films or whatever so then you have issue based films coming up and you know uh, people kind of this thing but it, 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 there should be no agenda behind it and i don't think there is any agenda behind it i think it's purely made as as a film and it should purely be the the uh, uh thoughts of uh, the writer or the this thing or the views or the opinions of those people who have made it you know that doesn't generally go as ki you know, that is the view of all of us entertainers that this is how the world functions or whatever no it doesn't happen like that it should be made it should not be made into issues like that all right agree to that <clears throat> so finally thank you so much for talking with me and i'm excited for your honor too and i congratulate you guys and best of luck for for it and i'm sure it's going to do amazing on the ott platform it was great talking to thank you thank you so much imran thank you thank, thank you. you thank, thank you. you best of luck all the best bye bye thanks bye, bye.